Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing here. And uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace one of your shifter levers on your 180 drive system on a Hobie kayak. Uh, Hobie PA14 is what I have. And a lot of kayaks will have the same drive system here. And you can obtain this through the mail from Mariner Sales. And it comes complete with the replacement part here and the actual shifter lever. Now I started to just not take all this stuff apart here and just drill this out and then just replace this handle. But I don't want to do that. I mean it's just as easy to go ahead and just put the two new parts on there. So once again guys you can get these parts at Mariner Sales. It was $15.99 and then there was like eight dollars shipping and then another two or three dollars taxes so it was right around 30 bucks to get it to the house but either way uh, Mariner sells there in Dallas I'll put the information in this video and you guys will be able to see that uh, information of how to contact him for anything Hobie and pretty much other kayaks as well Mariner sells there in Dallas so the first thing that I see to do to make this easier on you because they have a tensioner spring here and so you're not wrestling with that spring you're gonna have to take it off anyway I say the first thing to do is to remove this broken piece and then release this tensioner spring uh, there's a knot gonna be on the back side of it most likely you wanna keep that same tension so the best thing to do is to try to untie that knot so the first thing you want to do is bring this over and there's a locking nut here on the back. It's a self-locking nut and in order to gain access to it with a pair of channel locks, just slide this lever up some and uh, come over with a pair of channel locks here and just grab that thing. I'm not working. It'd be just as easy to set this thing in a vise, you know, if you're going to be working on it and do it that way but I'm just doing it here on the floor jungle bar I'm just doing it here on the floor hard hitter style as you know I always have to do everything the hard way don't come easy for me got a ton of tools out and probably don't need all of them but here we go where's the one that I need either way I'll just use this screwdriver here back this off What's top dollar with the gold flea collar want to be all up in the mix pull that out what I found to do is to go ahead and just put that back on there holding the good lever in place until you get back to that point and then you simply lay it down go ahead take this and then try the best you can to undo that knot so that way you'll have the same tension and the easiest way to do that is to force the long end back up through the knot and hold on to the knot by using if you got some fingernails like I do you should be able to it's elastic it stretches so you should be able to do this you know pretty easily but of course it ain't gonna cooperate when you're doing something like that like a knot that's been there forever and a day but I'm just gonna fast forward that process but once you undo that knot remember what side the flat side that this goes through and the knot goes into that hole and boom you simply get your new part hope the camera angle is good for you guys and there's a right and a left side so make sure you get the right side that you're going to be replacing and don't make a mistake and buy the wrong side so after that's done don't need that exacto knife anymore you're going to take your uh, replacement part you see that was the back side pull that lever it's been good to burn these but that's a pretty big hole they're going through 
and you should be able to get it back through there with no problem. And then try to tie that same knot. And go ahead and get a good knot on it. That way, you know, you're not on the water and the uh, tensioner spring pops loose on you. It's not a whole lot of tension on it. So once you tie a good knot and get it back about the same tension that you had, boom, you're ready to go ahead. And this liver rides on top of that. That, that land here lands here. So you just basically back that screw back off. Keep your finger on it. Keep it in place. Now there's going to be tension on it. It's going to be a little bit tough to do. But you go ahead and try to put it there. Hold that in place. And go back through. And try to hit that nut on the other side. And once you get that started, then boom. You can go ahead and flip this back over again. Slide this one up like I showed you, so I can get the light right. It'd be easier to use a socket, you know, but I didn't feel like going all through the bag. I got a lot of sockets in there. I probably could have came up with one. I don't know if it exactly fits, or will it fit once I do get a socket that size. Pretty good at picking sizes. That's a nine, so it's probably not a ten millimeter. It's probably a little bigger than that. This is what I didn't feel like doing. Just going through here and through here trying to find the right size. And it don't want to fit in there anyway. Yeah, that's it. So I could put that socket on it, which is probably eleven or twelve. Let's see, eleven millimeter. So use that 11 millimeter socket and tighten that up if you wanted to use a socket all right what do I do with that screwdriver that fast here it is and you're not going to put any real tension on that long as it lands on that land you got a little bit of play in the middle there you don't have to have it super duper tight you see I was hand holding that that's a locking nut so you know as long as as it can move freely that's what you want because this is going to be a thing that needs fluid motion and that's it not no play but it still moves through fluidly now right here is where this deal clips up under here and that's your shifter linkage here and what you're going to do is you're just going to pop that back over the catch deal there and then you'll be ready to to shift gears put myself a little slack here flip those over to reverse but I should be able to reach it without having to do all of that there it is it's a little tough to flip back in there and I don't want to use anything sharp to damage the cable So I pull myself some slack by flipping that over. That way I'm not sitting there fighting the tension on that deal. Then I could just 
use that extra length and make it pop down in there. See, now that was easier. By me flipping that over, I was able to pop that down into place without sitting there wrestling with it. Now I can flip it back over. And your next part here is just going to be your handle, your switch handle, your gear shifter, whatever you want to call it. And it threads into place. And I'm not exactly sure what size it's going to be. That's a 10. And that's what it is. It's 10 millimeter. So it's plastic. And you're just going to take, it's not quite a 10, it's a 9. Let's see if I can get lucky. That's an eight. But if I was looking for eleven thirty-seven, I bet if I was looking for here's a three eighths. That's fine. That's what'll work. A three eighths will work on there, and probably a seven sixteenths on the back side of that other nut there. And it's not. Easy to cross thread it. They're pretty coarse threads. They're plastic threads. I don't know how that one broke off. Maybe I kicked it or hit it, but it broke smooth off. That old one. So I just thread the new one into place. I'll stop it when it's level. Since it's plastic, it wants to. You'd be probably better off with an adjustable wrench. I'm thinking because it's plastic and the uh, wrench just wants to slide on it. So what I'm going to do is just snug it till it's the lever straight. Straight enough for me. I'm not going to put a lot on it. It lets me know I'm there. Now I got reverse and forward again. Now it's in forward, reverse, or forward. Now I can put it in reverse, put it in forward. I can take that string. I had a string on it while I was broke. I had a string on it for a little while there, but that is replacing your shifter linkage on your 180 drive system here. And how many holes am I? One, two, one, two, three. I'm a little off. That's what's going on. I'm in the second hole there, and I'm in the third hole there. So I need to go to the third hole here to be straight. And that's when your drive is straight. So that's it, man. Replacing your shifter linkage there. And uh, I'm good to go. Hooked up fishing at Hard Hitter, giving y'all a little quick rundown on how to re do a little service work on your on your PA. You know, you could if you ever want to check for anything, you'll check for fraying in here. But these things are ten foot tall and bulletproof, man. I've never had any problem with a drive, so you know that cable seems like it it could be a little bit snug, but you don't want them over tight, you know, because that's what'll give you wear. You won't play. You know, they don't have to be snug because then you're going to be wearing on your system. So as long as they're in place, you want a little a little bit of not too much tension on your on your ship. This is real, really good system for holding yourself in place when you're crappie fishing. That's what I use for spot lock. And uh, that's done. And I can possibly save this. And if I ever have another, because it's all plastic. take and get an easy out and turn that thing backwards and probably unscrew it. A real sharp knife will probably do it. There it comes. So I could have just extracted that out like I'm showing you here. Watch that blade. Huh? First thing I'll do is cut my hand. But I could have extracted that out and left this on there and just replaced the lever. 
and save myself a little bit of work because all it did was shear off and break. So, you know, another option would be, uh, you know, uh, counting the thread pitch here and making your own with, uh, you know, stainless threads. That way they didn't break and a little D-ring or something with it sticking out. But it's best to just go with the manufacturer's part. So this part is good. So I can actually save this part for the reverse side. And uh, if something was ever crack here or break on that part here, I got a spare part. So what I do is just put it here and put it back in my little kit that I got a lot of my extra Hobie stuff in. But that's it. Uh, how to replace your shifter linkage there on your Hobie 180 drive system for Hobie PA 14, 12, and also I think it's on the Lynx and on the uh, uh, Hobie Outback and possibly the Passport as long as they're 180 drive. I think that's it. So hooked up fishing at hard hitter. Hooking you guys up with a real quick fix on your you know shifter cable there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes, subscriptions, comments, and I'll get back with y'all in the next episode. We'll later. Okay, okay. Okay, here you go guys. That's Mariner Cells dot com okay since 1975 so that's a good bit of time that these guys have been in business marinersales.com is one way you can reach them and let me see Really good group of guys over there. A really good group of guys over there. See, they got great reviews. They do have those inflatable hobies. Oh, that's an inflatable star. See if we can get some information on these guys. It's Mariner Cells. And open at 9 a.m. They open at 9 a.m. Let's see if we got a phone number here. That's 972-214-1498. That's Mariner Sales, guys. Hours and location, please press 5. 
our dial by name directory, press six, to leave a message for our e-com and shipping department. Our retail location and sale offer are open for curbside service Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.